If you're an editor, then odds are you've had to work with green screen footage before. And let me tell you something. It can be a time consuming process, especially if you're using the wrong tool for the job. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you the two most effective and just in general, the quickest green screen removal tools inside of DaVinci Resolve. So all that stuff and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly videos all about teaching you to become a better video editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. So the first way to easily remove green screen is actually gonna be on the edit tab. Now, quite honestly, I really like this way. So to do this, we have to open up the effects library and then go under open effects and then just type in key. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab this 3D key here and drag it onto our green screen clip. Now click the turkey baster looking thing inside the inspector tab under effects. Then to actually use this, we have to hit this drop down button right here and click on open effects overlay. Now it is time to harness your inner artist and literally start drawing all over the green screen and you're gonna start seeing it disappear. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job, but there are still some green areas. So if we scroll down, we can go to the output and change it from final composite to alpha highlight black and white. Then under matte finesse, we can just bring up the clean black just like this and you can see that it's gonna start cleaning up our key. Then all we gotta do is just change the output from alpha highlight to final composite. And finally, to stop her from fully transforming into the Hulk, because you know, we got all this green screen spill everywhere. We are gonna hit this despill button and it literally removes all of the spill so she just looks normal. Now for the second quick way to remove a green screen in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna have to jump into the fusion. Now do not be afraid because this is gonna be super quick. And yes, you can do it in the color tab, but quite honestly, it is a, just a miserable experience. So just ignore it, like you're gonna thank me. Anyways, in the fusion tab, we're just gonna hit control and spacebar to bring up the select tools menu. And then we're gonna type in Delta gear and then add it into the flow just like this. Next, click on the background color and select pick screen color. Then you're just gonna select the green screen. Then just hit okay. And you can see that there's like this fogginess that's around her, but for the most part, the green screen is gone. And the fogginess is because the green screen that we're using here, it's not lit evenly. So it looks like there's some different shades of green, which is how most people's green screen actually is. So to fix this, we're gonna go to matte and then under view mode, we're gonna go and change it to matte also. Next, grab the low end of the threshold and bring it up so that the black part of our clip is just solid. Then we're gonna go to the high end of our threshold and actually just bring it down a bit so that the person is completely white. And now if we change our view mode from matte to final results, you can actually see that it cleans up our green screen like perfectly. There's not any spill on her. It just looks good. Speaking of looking good, if you're trying to sharpen your DaVinci Resolve skills, then you are in luck because we just released the DaVinci Resolve effects guide and the beginner's guide. Now these guides are built with AI so that they're incredibly searchable and they're like so easy to navigate. So if your main language also isn't English, then I got you boo. These are also transcribed into multiple languages. So not only can you read the video in your native language, you can also listen to it in your native language too. So if you wanna sharpen your resolve skills and also help support me and this channel and what we're doing and the content we're putting out, click the link below to grab these guides. Really appreciate it guys. So I got a question for you. Why do you make videos? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I make videos because not only do I like storytelling and all of the different tech side of stuff, but I like to help people learn through videos and also learn how to use video to do what they want to do, like to make their passion into a job. So the fact that I get to sit here and help you guys out is absolutely like mind blowing. So thank you guys so much for that. Anyway, if you want more videos like this, click on the top for a video with all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials or click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.